In this video, I will walk you through all the steps you need to take to start your LLC in Missouri. Make sure to watch until the end so that you don't miss any necessary steps. So let's just get right into it. The first step to forming your LLC is picking a name. Your name needs to be distinguishable to other business entity names already registered in your state. Your name must end with Limited Liability Company or one of the abbreviations on screen. You can check the name's availability by going to the Missouri Official State website and searching for your name. If nothing shows up, it's available. Now, if your preferred name is already chosen, that's no problem, because if you file for a DBA registration, which means doing business as, you can do business under a different name than your official LLC name. So now that you have chosen your name, we can move on to step number two, appointing a registered agent. A registered agent is a person or entity that you need to appoint to handle necessary government, tax, and legal correspondence on behalf of your LLC. So how do you get a registered agent? You can become your own LLC's registered agent, although this is not recommended because you need to handle complicated legal documents and requirements. You also need to be available Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. to resolve issues. And on top of that, when you assign yourself as the registered agent, your name and address become part of the public record. So what most people do is use a registered agent service to handle all of this on their behalf. The one I like most is called LegalZoom. I'll leave a link to them in the description. And later in this video, I'll also show you how you can use LegalZoom to help you set up your LLC. So now that we have a registered agent, the next step is to file articles of organization organization. The article of organization includes basic info about your LLC, such as its name, address, and purpose. You can find the article of organization by searching for Missouri LLC Articles of Organization and clicking on the Missouri official website. In this step, you'll also need to pay the state filing fee, which is $105 in Missouri. After filling in the articles of organization documents, we can create an operating agreement. An operating agreement is basically a contract that outlines how the business will be run. So for example, it includes information such as how profits will be distributed and which members have the authority to bind the LLC to legal contracts. In the description, I will leave a link to a free customizable LLC operating agreement template. All you need to do is fill in some questions about your LLC, such as the name, industry, and state. Then after filling in those questions, you will get your operating agreement completely for free. Now, step number five is to obtain necessary permits and licenses for your LLC. This step is very specific to the industry you are in and what your LLC does. So how do you know what permits and licenses you need to obtain? I will give you an example. If my LLC is in the real estate industry, then what I do is search for real estate LLC necessary permits and licenses. Here you will find a list of blog posts that cover this subject. If you want to make sure this is done right and get help from professionals, then LegalZoom can also help you with this. I'll show you how in a few minutes. Once you have obtained the necessary permits and licenses, we can move on to step six, which is to comply with tax requirements. You need to make sure to keep your LLC tax compliant. To do this, you need to file your annual reports, keep accurate records, and doing all of your business transactions under a business bank account is also best to keep yourself and your personal assets protected in case of a lawsuit. In the description, you will find helpful resources for your annual reports and keeping accurate records. So now, finally, if you want to hire employees and file certain tax forms, you will need an employer identification number. You also need this to open a business bank account if your LLC has more than one member. I'll leave a link to the IRS website where you can apply for your EIN number. So those are all the necessary steps to starting your LLC. However, if you want to save yourself some time and make sure it's done 100% correctly, you can also use a legal service such as LegalZoom or Northwest Registered Agent. These legal services will help you with every single step I mentioned in this video. I will quickly show you how easy this process becomes when you go through one of these services. Specifically, I will use LegalZoom. Simply open up their website, click on Business Formation, then click Start My LLC. Now pick one of their packages. You have a free plan, but then you still need to do most of the work yourself, so I'll pick the pro plan since this will get me an EIN, Operating Agreement, and Legal Documents. If you use LegalZoom and pick the pro or premium plan, you will also get a free initial phone consultation with a specialist about business insurance and taxes. This can really help you get started and stay compliant. So then after picking your plan, simply fill in all the details and questions. You will also get the option to add extra services, such as getting access to their bookkeeping software. 
Then after doing all the steps, simply go ahead and pay for it, and then they will do everything for you, and you will have set up your LLC. The reason I personally did use a formation service is because these people form LLCs day in, day out, and know everything about it. Also, if you have any questions, you can ask them. So they just walk you through your entire LLC setup, which for me is worth $200. You also make sure everything is filed correctly. LegalZoom is one of the most used formation services, and it's also the one I used. I'll leave my affiliate link to them in the description. In full disclosure, if you make a purchase through that link, I will earn a commission, but that's not the reason I'm recommending them. I found that they were actually very helpful, so now you know how to start an LLC in Missouri. If this video helped you get started with forming your LLC, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel.